Merry Christmas, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Here's your forecast for your Christmas Eve day. We have sun dogs. Look at that, as you look live outside, oh, well, live for me anyway, about a quarter uh, before nine o'clock on this Christmas Eve day, Thursday, we see the sun dogs uh, on the horizon. You can see here, illustrate that, or show those. These are sun dogs, actually both sides of the sun. You see uh, the sun's uh, rays refracting through a layer of uh, very cold air. There's that uh, some frozen ice crystals in the air, and that happens a lot of times right after a storm, uh, storm system moves through in the winter. You know, that leftover uh, little extra uh, crystal debris, these little little crystalline, uh, uh, basically bits of uh, snowflake in the atmosphere, and so you see that, and that's where the sun's uh, rays uh, right at that certain angle above the horizon. We, another hour or so, it'll be gone. But right close to the horizon, you see that about 20 degrees off the ground, I believe, is, is the, about the, the specification. Within about 20 degrees of the ground, you can see those uh, the sun dogs, and it's just an optical illusion. But kind of cool to see that, and that's uh, looking outside from a CC height, so that Gold the Group camera, 18 degrees, uh, rather 4 degrees below zero, the 18 mile per hour wind. Did I get that wrong? 18 mile uh, degrees is what we had yesterday, uh, but, but last night we were on the way down. And for this is, we've, I think, basically hit rock bottom here, 4 below zero. Current temperature from here will make our way back to about 5 later today. So not a very warm day by any means. The coldest of the season, coldest of this week overall. But the winds, 18 miles per hour, that makes it feel a whole lot colder. Uh, wind chill levels today will be in that uh, 15 below to 25 below zero range. We do have a, a wind chill advisor. It runs until noon today. And after that, it's still pretty cold, but just not quite as cold. The, the wind chill advisory has a certain threshold, uh, about 25 below or so. When you reach that, they start issuing advisories. Uh, but uh, really, throughout the day, it's going to be a brutally cold Christmas Eve day, and, but at least a drier day. Uh, boy, yesterday was nasty. The freezing rain. Then we have the snow, 1.3 inches of snowfall officially in Rochester at the airport, 1.5 here at KTTC studio. And I'm looking at some of the numbers that are coming in. Everybody pretty much in that one to three inch range that I've seen so far. Uh, some spots way northwestward may have had a little bit more, but one to three inches, pretty much the, rain, the range for most of the area on Wednesday. And from here, yeah, we'll keep it around. Hey, white Christmas, but this officially qualifies as, as white Christmas. Have, have to have at least one inch of snow on the ground. And we had just 1.3. We'll take that, I guess, as a win. Uh, the, the downside is uh, it's brutally cold outside. Uh, it is just not a pleasant day. Five degrees, the expected high temperature today. This winds, look at this, 15 miles per hour all day long, gusting around 25, 28 this morning. Uh, it's subsiding a little bit this afternoon, but still a pretty rough breeze, and that is going to keep that wind chill at the very best uh, to 10 below zero. It'd be colder than that for the most part, though. Sunset, 437 later today. And uh, as we look outside, there's even more blue in the sky ahead looking northward from our studio. 4 below zero, 26 below officially at the airport. Air pressure rapidly rising, 29.91 inches of mercury. That is high pressure coming in behind the departing storm system. The, the pressure gradient, though, the difference between that strong, dry Canadian air mass and the departing storm system producing some pretty rough winds for us. 4 below the temperature in Rochester, 4 below in Mason City. Five above in Winona, one of the few spots with positive figures here as we approach 9 o'clock this morning. There's that storm system moving away to the east. Snow now in Michigan and Indiana, and high pressure is headed our way. But again, here's that wind chill advisory. All the blue counties in that until noon today, 15 to 25 below the zero, the way it feels. Those winds are uh, definitely brutally cold. And here's future cast, uh, more and more sunshine throughout the day. Uh, tonight, thin band of clouds comes in well after midnight, and then we'll uh, see increasing sunshine tomorrow uh, ahead of another dose of high pressure. Good-looking Friday, though, and not as windy. Uh, a little bit warmer. Temperatures tomorrow make their way into the um, low 20s, and by f uh, Saturday afternoon, an upper 20s with even lighter winds than that. So a lot of sunshine for the next couple of days and a little less in the way of wind heading into the heart of the weekend. Uh, there is some more energy. Look at the northwest. You see some of that up there. Uh, this is some cloud cover coming in from the northwest. That will come in for Sunday, eventually bring us uh, some flurries as the system kind of grazes us to the south and southwest. Temperatures today around 5 above in Rochester, Austin 8, 10 Mason City. Wind chills again 15 to 25 below zero. Those winds uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour, but again, 5 degrees is 20 degrees below the seasonal average and 42 degrees colder than yesterday's high temperature. Now that is a big difference. Uh, tonight, partly cloudy wind chill around 20 below zero. 
Northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, uh, pleasant Christmas day, at least a pleasant looking one. Compared to today, it's a whole lot better. <laughs> Still, 20 is about 5 degrees below average, but not nearly as windy and even sunnier. So we'll take that for a great looking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, some variety. Saturday looks pretty good. Sunday, some flurries. Not a bad day. A little bit of a, more of a breeze, too, in the afternoon. Uh, maybe 15 to 20 miles per hour. So the wind chill in the single digits. Flurries there. And then behind that Sunday storm system, another blast of colder air. 14 the high on Monday. And if you see the seven-day forecast, that'll be the coldest day of next week. Chance of light snow as it stands right now. That'd be late Tuesday, arriving maybe 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening and then lasting all the way through Wednesday. High temperatures those days in the 20s. And then we'll cool off for New Year's Eve day next Thursday. And uh, New Year's Day also only in the teens, I think, next Friday. But that storm system is, is one we'll be watching pretty closely. As it stands right now, we may end up with several inches of snowfall out of that. We're going to be uh, certainly watching that pretty closely. And uh, we don't have any really concrete evidence of it, the exact totals right now. Uh, but we are looking at the possibility of maybe six or more inches. It is a possibility so far out of that Wednesday storm system next week. So that will be interesting. But in the meantime, uh, now we kind of uh, you know try to recover from yesterday's snow and try to just stay warm so have a great day everybody a great christmas i'll be back here actually my next day in the job will be next year new year's day actually i'm working next friday of all things i have a one day work week next week but it is a friday it's a holiday but you know that's how it goes sometimes we take our turns on holidays and i've got tomorrow off so i'm pretty excited about that anyway have a great christmas see you back here next week next year too